this morning we are looking at something serious I assure you when God speaks when God speaks when God speaks when God speaks or I can say does see it the Lord by in your lower any of the two when God speaks when God speaks one of the things that differentiates being a child of God and men that are serving the devil is that our God can speak in fact one of the things that Bible call our differentiation what separates us what puts line between us and men that are not serving our God is that our God can speak enough to lead us. Romans 8 14. For as many that are led by the spirit of the Lord are the children of God. It, it means if the God you serve cannot speak to direct you that God is not the God of the Bible. Are we still together? It, it means, it means, it means, it means God did not expect his children to live their human life depending on their brain. By now, from all these stories and testimonies, you will know by now that to use your brain can be very dangerous. Are you still with me? Do you agree with that? At the best of our brain, you are still very weak in front of the devil. At the expert of the brains, at the, at the peculiarity of the giftings of humanity, you are still very weak confronting the devil. And God did not decide that your life will be on a calculated guess. Where can I break through? Lagos. And you pick your bag, you run down to Lagos. Believe me, you may not have anything in coming back. Where can I get a husband? You can go to Lagos. You can go to wherever. And people have done that several times, yet they have no husband. Because God, the one you are serving, did not decide that you will live your life on guess. He wants to speak. And he wanted you to hear. Are you with me? And one of the things you can do for yourself is to learn to hear. To understand when he's speaking. And to know what to do when he is already saying something to you. Are you very clear? Because today, I'm going to come with a word of God for you. But before I share what the Lord wanted me to tell you, I need to first of all let you know the, the principles of God's communication. When God speaks... And I will divide it into two for you to know. In every communication of God and man, there were two things. Nikba kuba tiolano to batin be ye soro. In kamiji lo mwa be the speaker and the receiver, the God that is speaking and the human being that is listening. Are you still with me? And number one, I will tell you the principle of God, the speaker, that every time God. Decided to speak to you. Ni go go, but your long body be a lot of bear sorrow. You need to know something about him. I I I I I I've had some cases to call somebody, and and I said hello, and the person that answered said hello, brochure. Already I know that is not the person I want to talk to, and I said where is this also person? Olu Tijadi. How do I know? How do I know? The response that person gives back. I'm sure you have seen that on phone. You call somebody, somebody else pick the phone. Are you with me? Or, 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 or somebody was calling you and you pick the phone and you are beginning to hear, eh, allow, allow, eh, eh, umaru, is that you? What has happened? Wrong number. You see, the problem is, Several times when God communicates with men, what God is hearing in heaven is wrong number. 
Because the person God is trying to speak to did not understand that the God that is speaking to you has some basic component and principle you need to understand if you want to understand what he's trying to tell you. Are you still with me? Number one. The component of God that is speaking, that can speak, that is speaking, that can speak. Ni go go but you don't know about Or let me quickly come around and tell you. That number one, God can speak to you from the Bible. Which means you may be reading your Bible or you are listening to a message like this and God will be speaking to you through the message. And as I have said before, if you are here to hear God in this service so far, believe me, you are late. Because from the sound, from the testimony, God has been speaking to people here. God has been answering people's questions. So if you are still waiting for the message to start hearing God, you are almost late. Because God is already speaking. Are you still with me? Number two, God can speak to you through prophecy. God can speak to you through dreams. Are you still with me? Are you still with me? So I don't know which way God wanted to talk to you. Not all of you by sorrow. That lady was saying she was and she was still having bad dream about something she has prayed for. Can I tell you something, brethren? Your dream is not the ultimate. Are you with me? As powerful as your dream can be, for the fact that your dream is not good, that dream is not good. You don't begin to accept something because you simply have it as a dream. Allow me to share a lot more real that who says who? Hallelujah. For the fact that they gave you a prophecy that was correct before, and they gave you another prophecy that was negative, that does not mean that that prophecy must come to pass. You can stop it. Are you with me? Don't let anybody under any guise or any dimension use whatever medium to confuse your life. I was in a car wash the other day, I think Thursday or Friday, and a boy walked around and was prophesying to people. I was waiting for my own prophecy. And, and, and the boy was just going to all those babas that are, that are washing car. I don't know. You all say, eh, what do you see here? You me. And was just dishing out, dishing out. And sat beside me, I look at my face, I stand up again. I went to another person and, and started prophesying. Why did you prophesy to me? Because when you carry the presence of God, your level changes. Because all those spirits that men are using to prophesy, most of them are demonic spirits. Are you still with me? If your dream is not good, stand up on that sleep, cancel the dream, and change the side. Are you still with me? Uh, you wake up and you are sweating, having bad dream. Shower on your fan, change the dream, turn to another side. Because those dreams had no right to come to pass on your life if you are still a child of God. Are you with me so far? And when God speaks, God is trying to bring you to your rest. God will not speak to you and by the time you follow what he's telling you, your life will be more crisis. That is not God. But if it is God leading you, your life will go from rest to rest. From peace to peace. From comfort to comfort. Your life will be more beautiful per day if God speaks to you. Are we still clear so far? Are you God speaking, don't do that. Are we clear again? Number one, one thing you must know about the God that wants to talk to you is that that God that wants to talk to you is speaking from eternity side. Hallelujah. The God that wants to talk to you is speaking from the ta- from the side of eternity. What does that mean? The God that is talking to you, where he's talking from, there is no time. God is speaking from a timeless zone. When God speaks to the world, he's speaking from a zone that is timeless. Do you know the implication of that? So, if God sits in heaven and said, you will prosper, where he's speaking from, there is no time there. As far as he's concerned, in that timeless zone, you are prospering. 
But from that side to this side, it's a time zone. Amen. Are you getting me? Bible says, and God met Abraham and said, your wife will be pregnant. And your wife will carry a boy. But the promise is not stop there. And they said, by this time. Now, God has already given Abraham a child. But the woman must wait for nine months to see it. Did you understand that? And Abraham was worried. Oluwa, mi o mo bi mo. Oluwa ni lo wo ta ko wo rawo. Bi na wo yen se poto. Be la mo re o se poto. An Oluwa yawo mi o ti lo yun. Oluwa fini bo sita ka ye ye pe. Bi ye pe se poto. Be lo mo re se poto. O Oluwa. So ri yawo mi ja fo mo do so mo Oluwa. As far as he's concerned, he has not seen anything. But the God that he was dealing with, the God was speaking from the eternity part. And that was why, when you are reading your Bible, and you are seeing God's promises, and you are seeing future things inside it, they are putting future things for you that is here, in heaven. If God said the work, you cook, where they are saying it, there is no time there. As far as they are concerned, Death is cancelled over you. But at this side, at this side, people will put time and say, Oh, I walk you. I will not support you. She needs 60 near 50. To the way you could see you. Did you get that? One of the first principles you must understand that for anything God is saying to you, if God says, Will, if God says, I will. If God said you will, by the time you are translating it, you will be translating it, it, it is now. Amen. Amen. So, two months ago, tell about Give me an example. Give me an example. Eh? Give me an example. Eh? I will supply all your need. But then God said, I will supply all your need from the timeless zone. By the time you cross to this side, it becomes all my needs are supplied. Did you get the difference? If God says, I will supply all your need, and it's coming from the eternity side, and it gets to your point, I will supply all your need. You will do it. You will do it. See what you don't know. All the muscle you will do is you don't pay 50. Because as God is pushing it from his side, told that out here, oh, no, you will do it. Oh, do this, huh? But when God said, I will bless you, when you come to your realm, you said, I am blessed. At that point, you are downloading what God is putting in your zone. If you go to Ghana, by now, Ghana will be 11 o'clock. In Nigeria, it is 12. The difference is the time zone. That means, that means, that means, if I say I will give you something by 8 a.m. in Ghana, you will wait for me in Nigeria to get it. Do you get it? The difference is the time zone. And God says, I can see that you live long. That you will live long. By the time you will say it, downloading it to your own zone, to be what? Hi, I am living long. Amen. Do you get that time zone? Number one, God is timeless. And whenever He's speaking, He will speak into your zone and He will want you to receive it now. Anything you are saying that is different from now, you are pushing that prophecy to the future. The more you confess like that, you are pushing that prophecy to the front again. When you're supposed to be saying, Oluwa to lo se yen o ti se bai. Oluwa to fe se yen o ti bere bai. Amen. Are you with me? Are you with me? Anything that go contrary to that small principle can put delay around the things you are expecting God to do. Because God will bring it and say, 
download it and say, Oluwa yo sise na ni, nigbawo. Like me, nigbawo. Kin to darugo, nigbawo. You are pushing what God wanted to do now to a future. Did you get that? Then number two, I have two or three things I want to say. Ah, can I continue? Number two, God is unconscious of rigidity, impossibility, limitations, and opposition. When God says, I will bless you, God is not talking about Nigerian economy. God's not looking at your salary. God's not looking at whether you have two shops or three shops. God is not bothering about what, or what is in your account. What God is talking about is his own provision that does not exist around you. I went to somebody and I prayed. And I said, we supply the money. Because I prayed to pray to you. I prayed to you. I Because as far as they are concerned, by their calculation, it is impossible for them to see what God is talking about without them doing something. Are you still with me? See, all around by my yoga. Oh, you don't like to anybody. Oh, you want to go to my yoga? 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 Does that matter? Are you with me? Because when God says he's going to do something for you, God is not a Nigerian. God is not from Ghana. God is not a cousin to Buhari. God did not know South Africa. Where God is operating from, over there, everything is available. It is you that can now come to our realm. When you now come to woman realm, in woman realm, we are conscious of limitation. We are conscious of economy. We are conscious of our pocket. We are conscious of people that we know and don't know. But in the realm of God, God is not conscious about it. Which means, whatever God is going to say to you from today, you cannot afford to bring it to your own consciousness. In God's consciousness, God is not aware that Nigeria is in debt. God is not aware that our social state is in trouble. God is not aware that they did the election in Nondo yesterday. What God knows is that you are my daughter, I am going to bless you. And that is final. If they let, they don't let them pay salary to anybody. You are blessed. And now it's going to bless you, does not concern you. Your own is when you need a lot, a lot appear. And you use your ATM that is not expired to take it. I we it together. But by the time you operate human consciousness, be a Moses and Masotele by Moses on last year, and yeah, me or in Kakaba, one to son last month in Kako Shale, one day no, you have already reduced God. To a Nigerian. And when you do that, every miracle you're expecting will go on suspension. Are you with me? Are you with me? There was a time in our show state we are not collecting any salary. I have people that can borrow me money. So whatever you do, buy me a Monday. Oh, they should let me know. I one day I stood in my room and I said, God, I can't bear, I can't beg and I can't borrow. Can you please send money to me? And you will not believe it. A day after, somebody sent twenty thousand to my account. And that twenty thousand solved all the problem. If I told you one thousand, you lua, one thousand to do. One thousand, you can you pull. We must take one thousand, yeah. I saw another lot, 20,000 came back. And that money stayed like that for over three months. Until one day I need money seriously. I need like 40,000. 20, 20, 20, 20. You're very wrong. And I picked my phone and I called the person. Where you Share it to the bank. Send the and what FM for me. And that person said, She went to the bank and you want to share for me. And you know what happened? That person stopped giving me money. And I said, God, he said, God said, you have shifted my glory to that person. I'm not giving you again. Are you see here? Because as long as you become conscious 
of the humanity, the human limitation, you will make God that wanted to help you to be very weak. Amen. Amen. Are you still here? Do you understand these things? People are tired though. Number three. In God's realm, God is the creator. And he has capacity for creatability. Kin it to me. When God said, I'm going to give you a house, God can build a house there for your sake. Amen. It means if God wants to give you something and that thing does not exist, God can create it. A brother was praying one day and they told him that every boys that are working in high company, they are backsliders. They are rich boys, but they don't go to church because they are very rich. And he had it in his church and he went to his closet and was saying, God, send somebody to those oil companies. Let a believer be employed. That will be discipling all these boys that are rich and they are stupid. And like some weeks later, somebody told him, Pastor, would you like to work in oil company? Say well. If God give me, I would like to work there. I even have a destiny to fulfill there if God give me. But your qualification does not enter your company. They said, okay, we'll see. And the next thing was that they called an interview. And that man said, attend the interview. You see, when he got to interview, all his credential does not match whole company. He's not an engineer. He's not an accountant. Everything they're looking for is not there. And the man said, eh, where did you come? Say, well, somebody said that you can just apply and I apply. Say, okay. But you did well the interview, but we don't need your qualification. So, well, uh, thank you for coming. And then, like the, all those companies used to do, they'll give you some good money to travel back home. When he got home, following day, he received a notice, come for second interview. <laughs> Went for third interview. When they employed him, the man that was in charge of new staff told him, your department does not exist before. When the manager saw you in the interview, he decided to create your department and employ you there. Oh God. Don't worry whether what God is promising you does not exist. You are dealing with a God that has capacity to create. If they said there is no brother in your community that can marry you, there is a God that can create brother. If they said what the type of admission you are looking for does not exist, there is a God that can create it. But when you move it to human realm, you now begin to see don't touch this up with you. Koda, Maurice Kanye. Ah, don't touch your call me. Ah, eh, yeah, oh my shoe. If your mechanic tell you that your tire is not good again, will you cry cry? You just change the mechanic and go to another person. Are you see here? And maybe I should stop because of time. Humanity are unstable. Their condition is unstable. When they look at things, they can change their mind. But when you are dealing with God that can do something else, that when God says something to you, that God does not change, does not change his mind, does not change what he has said. When he has said it, he stays there. In Numbers 23, he said, God is not a man that will lie. He's not the son of man that will change his mind. That is not God. Are you with me? And I'm bringing the word of God to you today. In Revelation chapter 3. He said, Thus said the Lord that carries the key of David. He said, I place before you an open door. When God says, I carry a key, it means whatever that was under lock and key in your life, don't worry. All the bunch of key is with him. 
Olorun ko ni pe daddy e fun mi koko re nu ona if god get to the door of your life and there is no key that can open your own miracle god can create his own key and he says in revelation 3 he said i carry the key of david the key of david is one key that can open any situation any condition i don't know what they said is locked and you have prayed it don't open i've come to announce to you that every door close to you is open now Amen. and he said not just that it's open i place before you I place before you. What else do you want God to do? If God said what you are looking for is already an open door, what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Are you? Oh, Jackie, like you, she. Oh, I got to make Jackie. Oh, Luwa, oh, Luwa, oh, she like you. Does that matter in this door? The Lord said I should tell you that I place before you an open door. And if you receive that, your door begins to open this month. Amen. And he said, I carry the key of David. Which means every matter of your life that is under lock and key. They are getting opened now. Amen. I said they are getting opened now. Amen. I don't know your own situation this morning. I don't know the condition that you have brought to church. But I've come to announce to you what your God can do. You will raise up your hand and I say, Father every door that was closed i don't know your own door but whichever door whichever you must not make god look like humanity you must not condense god to your size your god is not an economist so when you are talking now you don't talk as if you know what is going on oh ni soro big bati olorun do mo nigeria o Oh, si God of sorrow. Be that your Lord, but your door. If God says, I carry the key, it means everything about your life, I can open it. And if that is not your, your own case, I have opened every door that is bothering you. All your doors are opened. All your doors are opened. All your doors are opened. Yeah. And if there's anything you need to do, you say, God, I enter into my doors. I give you one minute to report your doors to God. Present your doors to God. This is October. There's a God that works for men. I don't know the door that was bothering you. But there is a God of doors this morning. Have you presented your doors? Because next thing is that you are going to begin to enter into it. Oh. You see a door of health? Door of job? Door of next level? Door of a miracle? I don't know the door you are looking for. Present your door. Oh, she knew. Oh, she knew. Koshida Daniel. This Sunday is your day. Oluwa to le shi oru, to le shi le, to le shi ko, to le shi oju, to le shi eti. Go go le ile kuni, to le shi ona owo. I give you one minute more to present your doors. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now you will stand up and say, God, I enter into my open door. I enter into what I'm looking for. I enter into it now. I enter into my open door. I enter into my door. I enter into my breakthrough. I enter into my things. I enter into it. Begin to enter into it. Begin to enter into it. I enter into marriage. I enter into motherhood. I enter into a new job. I 
enter my next level. Doors are open to me. Google le ku shi fu mi. Ile ku ati shori re shi. Ile ku abayo mi shi. Ile ku shi tutu shi. Mo wano re no. Mo wano le ku tutu no. I want you to take a walk. Take a step and say, God, I enter to you. I want you to demonstrate your entry and take a step. Lord, I enter. Olu mo wano le ku bega. Mo wano le ku bitutu. Mo wano le ku ori re. Olu mo wano le ku ati bima. Mo wano le ku ori re. Mo wano le ku bega wo. Mo wano le ku tutu no. I step in and enter. Lord, I step in and I enter. My doors are opened. Take three step and say, Lord, I enter. My dad does keep proposing to live. Take three step and say, God, one, two, three. Lord, I enter. I enter to that face of my life. I enter to that next level of my life. Lord, one, two, three. I became a mother. Lord, one, two, three. I become an international. Lord, one, two, three. I become a pastor. Lord, one, two, three. I enter to financial breakthrough. Lord, one, two, three. I have a new job. Lord, one, two, three. There's a lifting in my family. Lord, one, two, three. Things are turning around in my body. Lord, one, two, three. Step. I enter. Take three step and declare that you are entering. Take three step and announce that you have entered. Lord, I have entered, bro. I have entered. I have entered to something bigger than myself. I entered to a big level. I entered to my access. Take another three steps, Lord, I enter. Take another three steps, say, Lord, I enter. Ma basanta la brazenke pashuzende. One, two, three, Lord, I enter. I take three deliberate steps and I enter to what you are giving to me. Doors are not close to me. Doors are not locked on me. I enter. I am not waiting. Me o dro de o. Me o leti da tro de o. Olu amo wano le lese kese. I am not waiting. I am not happy. I am not thinking about tomorrow. Lord, it is now. And Lord, I enter. Lord, it is now. Lord, I enter. Lord, it is now. And Lord, I enter. I take my three step and I enter. It's not going to happen in future. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It is happening now. It's not going to happen next year. It's not going to happen next month. It's happening now. It's not going to be futuristic. It's not going to be later. Lord, I download it and I say it is now. So I call you a let's say, say, this is now, now. It's not tomorrow, it's not in future, it's not later, it's not next month, it is now. Oh, Laba sent to Reba, begin to appreciate the Lord because you are entering. Dupala alone begin to worship him because you are inside it already. Begin to appreciate him because you are inside already. You want to come and to one who let begin to worship him. Lord, I enter and I worship you. Lord, I enter and I worship you. Lord, I enter. I enter now and I worship you. I enter to my Canaan land and I worship you. I enter to my rest and I worship you. Lord, I enter now and I worship you. Begin to worship him because you are him. In Jesus' name we pray.